you want to learn what is meant by the modes of the major scale, we do that here. Hello, I'm Pete Martin. Thanks for watching. For more videos of mandolin, fiddle, improvisation, music theory, and other topics, subscribe to my channel and click like if you feel so inclined. Click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. There's a PDF file that goes with this video. To get it, go to my website, petemartin.info, click Videos, and scroll down to Music Theory for Fiddle, Mandolin, and Violin. Players interested in improvisation should check out two series I am doing. Improv from Scratch is for non-jazz players who want to learn to improvise or who want to improve their improvisation. Jazz players should check out the Barry Harris for Jazz Mandolin series. Find these by going to petemartin.info, click Videos, and scroll down. In video number two, we looked at the major scale. Review that video if needed. Here we take an expanded look at the major scale by studying what are called modes of the major scale. The word scale comes from a Latin word which means ladder. In music, scale means an ordered sequence of notes from which you can build melodies and harmonies. Let's look at the G major scale in example one. G major scale. The modes of the major scale are a subset of the major scale containing the same notes. We give these Greek names. Here we look at them one at a time in the key of G. The first mode is Ionian mode. It is the normal major scale G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. See this in example two. Ionian mode. If we start on the second note of the scale, A, and play the same notes except run A to A, we have the second or Dorian mode. These are the notes A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A. See this in example three. Dorian mode. If we start on the third note of the scale, B, and play the same notes except run B to B, we have the third or Phrygian mode. These are the notes B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. See this in example four. Phrygian mode. If we start on the fourth note of the scale, C, and play the same notes except run C to C, we have the fourth or Lydian mode. These are the notes C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C. See this in example five. Lydian mode. find the information in this video useful, I ask that you consider supporting my channel through my Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash Martin. For about the price of a cup of coffee, $3 per month, you support the making of videos, instruction articles, transcriptions for fiddle, mandolin, and improvising. Thank you for considering this. If we start on the fifth note of the scale, 
D and play the same notes running from D to D, we have the fifth or mixolydian mode. These are the notes D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, and D. See this in example six. Mixolydian mode. If we start on the sixth note of the scale, E, and play the same notes running from E to E, we have the sixth or Aeolian mode. These are the notes E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, and E. See this in example seven. Aeolian mode. If we start on the seventh note of the scale, F sharp, and play the same notes except run F sharp to F sharp, we have the seventh or Locrian mode. These are the notes F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E, and F sharp. See this in example eight. Locrian mode. My website, petemartin.info, has videos, instruction articles, transcriptions, information about fiddle and mandolin lessons, plus 13 instruction books I've written for mandolin, fiddle, and improvising, one of which is Easy Music Theory for Fiddle and Mandolin. Be sure to check it out. In Table 1 in the PDF file, we look at all seven modes of the major scale. Pause the video now and look at Table 1. In videos number 6 and 11, we saw the chords in a key. We also see this in the first column of Table 1. Knowledge of the chords and modes can be helpful to improvisers. Let's assume we're in the key of G and the chord we're improvising against is the B minor chord. Because B minor is the third in the key of G, it means we'd use the third or Phrygian mode of the G major scale. Those are the notes B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, and B. These would be a good choice of the notes to use. Pause now and look at Table 1 again. Notice the modes and what chords they fit. This would be very good for you to memorize. My suggestion is to learn the modes in all the keys you play in. Know the chords in that key and the mode that fits with that chord. If you have questions or suggestions, please use the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon, and click like if you feel so inclined. Also, check out my website and Patreon page, the links to which are on screen and below. I'm Pete Martin. Thanks for watching.